If you've been thinking about getting a CNC router, but not sure you want to actually dive in, you're sitting on the fence, a little intimidated by it maybe, by the time you're done with this video, you will be able to make that decision. IDCwoodcraft.com Hello, I'm Garrett Frommy, CEO of IDC Woodcraft. IDC Woodcraft is a company that provides CNC router bits to people have, who have CNC routers. In this video, I'm going to talk to you, someone who is thinking about CNC routers, but you're just not sure you want to dive in. Maybe the price tag of CNC routers has you a little intimidated or not sure you can do it. Knowing that there's software you have to run, you have to get a CNC machine, you have to figure out how to make it all work. Well, by the time you're done with this video, we are going to have this confusion and this uncertainty solved for you. We're going to be talking to a CNC creator named Joe. A guy who is a cop who wanted to dive into CNC routers, but was scared to death. Super intimidated by this whole idea of getting into CNC, but finally made the leap. In this dialogue that we're going to have, he's going to talk about his journey through that beginning stage of discovering CNC routers and overcoming the fear of actually diving in and finally coming to that point where he was absolutely grateful for making that decision. So... Through his dialogue, we are going to help you make the decision as to whether you want to dive into CNC routers or not. I will start this off by saying that you can do it, but you will discover that as you listen to Joe, an average Joe, if you will. It's just someone like me and you. Let's talk to Joe and see what he says, and I think you're going to relate to him. Let's get into this interview. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. And in this video, me and Joe are going to be talking about whether you should be getting a CNC router or not. You know, the thought process you go through and the feelings and, you know, there's just lots of little things that kind of lead you into it. And you're not sure you want to spend that kind of money on it and maybe afraid to get into it and mm -hmm. like it over intimidating or what have you. Right. So, so we're just going to talk about Joe's journey going into this. Uh, first of all, so Joe... Uh, Tell, tell them who you are. My name is Joe. I am in uh, uh, law enforcement, and uh, I'm into CNCing also now. So, yes. Yeah, so how long have you been doing it now? Two years. Yeah, two years now. You've had yeah. a machine for two years, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So, so when you were first like doing stuff, you were making flags and stuff, or trying to make flags right. in your shop. Yeah. Uh, and like like uh, blue stripe flags for yes. for cops. Mm -hmm. and, and you're trying to make the stars, and yeah. and that's what led you towards CNCs because you're trying to figure out how to carve stars out on the flag, right? Yes. Yeah. Tell me about the path that you went down, that ended up bringing you to a CNC router, uh, to say, oh wait, what's this? What's this machine? Well, I, I like I like I always like to uh, to say how it kind of uh, the best way to describe it is that it just blew up from there. I was making the flags by hand. Yeah. And I could not figure out how to do the stars All right. on the union. So after research and research led me to YouTube videos. Yeah. And I did try doing uh, doing them by hand. And I did not like how they were uh, how they were coming out. They just looked terrible. Along with more videos, I stumbled across a video with a guy, he was just making the union and he was using the CNC machine. And I could not believe what it looked like. And I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? What, what is he doing? He was doing it out of his garage. And that's, that's, that was the first video. I said, uh oh. So <laughs> I started looking more and more into this. Yeah. Then I started looking into what a CNC machine was. Yeah. And um, one yeah, of these things right here. This one right here. So this one came up. Uh, and uh, the other brands uh, came up also, which led me back to YouTube again. Mm -hmm. Seems like all roads lead back to YouTube. Yes, they do. You know, and uh, so now I started doing research on CNC machines. Mm -hmm. So then within that research comes now, well, how do you design this stuff? So now here comes the Vectric. All right. Vectric is the design software right. we use to, to design. Yeah, the, the VCarve Pro and everything. So now that comes up, and I'm like, uh oh. So you, your, believe it or not, your videos were the first ones I seen. 
I binge I binge watched your very first videos. Ooh, I became a star. Yeah. It was that day. <laughs> it was that day. And um but yeah, uh you didn't have many videos out at that time. That's yeah. that's how far back we go. And uh you were you didn't have the shop, you were in your apartment, it was yeah. totally different back then. But it was your your videos and I literally watched the uh, a couple of the instructional videos that you had and saw that oh I I could do this I could do this and you were advertising at the time how you know you you teach this yeah I do one on ones the one on ones yeah. which we have done yeah. we started yeah. with uh, a while back and that's really really what happened and then uh, then you moved on and then you got the long mill yeah. And then you started putting videos out about the long mill. Yeah. So I was right there with all that, and I basically knew what I, what I was going to do from there. Uh -huh. so, but it, it, like I always said, it, it, uh, that's the best way to put it is that it just blows up. It just blew up, and it was not supposed to be that way. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I do have to say, it, it, it was one of my, one of my, one of my best decisions uh, with uh, uh, what? woodworking. Get, getting a CNC. Of buying a buying a CNC machine. And so, especially the long mill, I, I do got to say. Right. You know. So, um, yeah, long mills, this machine right here, it's one I uh, I personally like. They're all good. So it doesn't really matter what you mm -hmm. get. That's um, right. Yeah. As long as you get good customer service. that's You want to check for that. But that's let, key. let's step back to this. Why are you doing this in the first place? What what? So someone here is saying, should I get a CNC router? They're, they're looking at it going, what the hell is a CNC router? How the hell am I going to make this thing do whatever I want it to do? Mm -hmm. And uh, for whatever reasons, what what's the, first of all, what's the core reason that you even wanted to do this woodworking stuff in the first place and start selling like blue stripe flags? Well, I'd have to say the, the biggest, the biggest thing is because I enjoy it so much. The woodworking. I, yes, okay. I really, I really do enjoy this. I enjoy it a lot, and so the more, the more I learned about these machines, I found out that I'm telling you, it's it's endless. The beautiful stuff that could come off these machines oh, that you can make. <laughs> there's there's no limit. Yeah, yeah, there is no limit at all to what you could build, and uh, you know, you just gotta you get, you you got to do your homework. You got to do you know, learn that software and yeah, yeah, you have whatever to software things. you're going to, you're going to use. But let, I mean, let's step more into the personal side of it, mm -hmm. right? Not, not the technical side. I mean, okay. so, I mean, but on the, t I guess we can talk about the technical end real quick. So there's a lot of intimidation factor people go through. Very much, right? very much. I didn't know this isn't, this isn't like using a, a, a hammer and a screwdriver. Yeah. This isn't like that. This is a totally different animal. The, the main thing is, is you could do it. You could do it. That's where, the thing. Where were I, you before you picked up your machine and your knowledge of CNC? Right? Not an ounce. Not an ounce. Nothing. Not an ounce. And what about computer skills? Not an. Well, I could get into them. Right. I could sign in and out of a computer, turn it on and off. But other than that, it, it was a big surprise because I remember, you know, the conversations uh, through email and stuff and. And everything uh, that you and I first had, mm -hmm. and I was very, very scared and very nervous about pulling this trigger, because I don't, I'm not some computer geek. Right. I don't know anything about technical stuff with these computers, and I thought you had to, I thought you had to know stuff. Yeah. But uh, you know, thank, thank goodness, you don't, you don't, you don't have to have any computer skills. You don't. They're not. They're not really. You'll figure it out. You sure will yeah, figure it out. Yeah. But there's so much help on YouTube uh, yes. to get you in that direction, and there's yeah. so many creators out there. First of all, yeah. if you decide to buy a CNC router, you're stepping into a world of maybe 500,000 people that are doing the same thing, and most of them are in our age range. Mm -hmm. right? They're like, so getting them more on the personal side, right? Mm -hmm. You're like a lot of other people. You've been, I've been working for 30 years, 40 years, and... Uh, I was there, and most people are. It's yeah. like, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I, I need something else. But I, but most people are just searching. They don't really know what, what they want. Right. Right. And so it's kind of this empty feeling that you have. It's like, what's the purpose of life now, man? I don't. You don't like doing what you're doing anymore. Mm -hmm. 
right? Even as a you know, law enforcement, we, we all, I was an engineer. I really liked it at one time too, but it just, it just like, I can't do this anymore. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. And so you're, you're searching what, what is it about the CNC? Well, first of all, making stuff, right? Why, why, why did you turn to making things out of wood? It's very relaxing. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice relaxing hobby. Uh, but I, I just find it to be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I very I find it to be very fulfilling. Okay, that's a magic word. You know, and the, um, this you just you just targeted the word that that really I think most people are going through is they lose that sense of fulfillment, mm-hmm. right? So here's 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 my story, right? I am uh, yeah I'm, I'm a grandpa. The kid my, my daughter's moved out. She's married. She's got her own family. We you know it's not like we. I'm not daddy anymore, yeah. right? And now I'm not mattering to to, to people who I want to, and yeah. and got tired of work and got out of work, retired from that, and it's like, what am I going to do with my life, right? What that fulfillment thing? Mm-hmm. Suddenly, it's like, even before leaving work, there's a lack of fulfillment. Yeah. All right. And you, I mean, you you've been kind of going through that. Yes. Yeah. That's why. That's oh, why you're time. doing this, yeah. right? Yeah. So so how does you find this? CNC routers to be fulfilling relative to maybe whatever else you might have been kind of searching for in your time. You could you could pretty much do this whenever you want to. And so when I retire, obviously I'm going to be able to uh, do this a lot more than mm-hmm. what I'm doing now. It's just the, 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 the countless stuff that you can make on this thing. Mm-hmm. But how is that fulfilling? I mean, we, we can make anything. We can... Sure. Right. We, 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 well, I'm not talking CNC routers. We can make anything anywhere. We can take a bunch of sticks and make make tree forts and shit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Mean, but why is why is this the thing that seems to be fulfilling you? I don't know. I, I just all I know is that it does. I don't know if I can have the magic. Uh, if there's a magic word for it or or anything like that. I just it, it feels good. It feels good uh, to produce something like this uh and also when you're designing it you 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 do have to design this stuff Mm. and it's like i designed that i made that yeah i did it yeah came from here yeah i did it there's a there's a lot more involved uh with using this machine than a lot of people uh than a lot of people think oh yeah Uh, there's a bunch of people out there go oh that's not real wood yes it is yes it is Yes, it is. It's, it's yeah, woodworking, it is. but but at the same token, who cares? What, yeah, it doesn't what, matter. It, it's not comparing it to mm-hmm. a craftsman building a chair by hand. Never. This n- is yeah, totally no. different. Animal. It's totally different. Yeah, but it's but yeah. It's still, there's this idea of what you just said. You're you're coming up with the idea. Mm-hmm. You're drawing it up on the computer, mm-hmm. and then what? Yeah. Well, you know, also what what I was doing right before I got into this was I also was doing uh, bird houses. Okay. And bird feeders. Okay. And I was doing those by hand too, of course. And that was that was that was a lot of fun. Yeah. That was, it is a lot of fun doing that stuff. And now that I have the machine, you know, I realize that hey, wait a minute. Now I can just design them and V carve, and let the machine carve them out for me. And I still, you still got to put them together. Uh huh. And still got to finish. Yeah, them. you still got to finish them. You still oh, got to design it right. That's right. right. That's right. So, you know, there's that. I'm looking forward to when I'm, when I'm going to start doing that too. All right. You know, so like I said, but to answer your question, I mean, you know, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's really hard to explain. It, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just fun to, to be able just to go out to the shop, fire up this machine, or when I have the laptop in, in the house and I'm sitting in there and I'm designing, going through everything and I, I, and I'm ready to start carving. Mm. You know, I, I, I come back, I come out to the shop and, you know, put my material down and get it all ready to go and, you know, hook everything up and, 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 and hit go, hit start. And what's it like when that machine starts doing its stuff? Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm going to tell you, it's even better when it's doing it the way that it's supposed to be done. <laughs> yeah. CNC routers will, uh, this is good news and bad news. They'll yeah. do exactly what you tell them <laughs> yeah. to do. That's the good news. 
The bad news is yeah. it'll do exactly what you tell exactly, it to do. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And yeah. if you do a goof up on your designing, then, then it's going to come out. Yeah, it's only going to do what you tell it to do and what you, and it's going to be like, hey, you know, you told me to go this way. Right. And, and I went that way. Right. That's just part of the learning process. You better I mean, believe it, it is. It kind of pisses you off when it happens. You get frustrated and yeah. stuff, but but then you learn from it. Right? Oh, you yeah. Move on. Eventually, you know, it's like, okay, well, I can't get mad at spilt milk anymore. Well, the good but, thing is, though, is when it does that, though, you know that you made a mistake in your design somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now you got to go back and you got to fix it. So now you're going back in the software, you know, and you are learning. You're learning more stuff. Maybe this you're is, learning more stuff. Maybe this is part of the the, the thing about the fulfillment thing, because I know that if we're not moving forward in life, we're not keeping our minds busy. I mean, people. Oh yeah. Whether they like it or not, we want challenge. Right. Ch from challenge gives us a reward. You better believe it. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That that's. I guess you could put it that way too. That that that. I could. I guess I could have answered your question that way also, because it is. It is, and, and and when you when you get to that point, you're like, oh man, look yeah. at the, look how beautiful this came out. Yeah, so you spend a little time working on learning sure. the software, and then, yeah, and then you finally get that. You figure out how to get the thing, and then mm -hmm. you get that first car of going, yeah, and, and and it comes out, and it's just it's like, yeah, cool. Yeah, I just you know, like I said, I just find it, I just find it a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, there are some challenges. Uh, you know, I'm still learning everything, but. I'm an expert, you and know. I'm still learning. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's just a lot of fun to do this. And uh, like I said, I'm, I am I am glad that I made this this decision because I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to last me forever. Yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be able to do this stuff well into age. Well, here here's one of the things that uh, yeah. some a lot of times people are like, "Am I willing to fork out? You know, this machine costs seventeen hundred dollars. Yeah, right. You got to yeah. you got to buy the software." You got to buy the tools, mm -hmm. right? Um, and they're going, "Oh my God, I got to put out all this money," and then they hold themselves back because of the money, right? It's we an all, investment. We all, though. we all go do that, yeah. So, you, investment. Talk about that. What do you mean by an investment? Well, this this the, all this machine is gonna it. You take care of it; it's gonna last forever. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You, it's it's gonna last forever, and you know, but also, once you get to the point, once you get to the point where you start making things and you start selling them, whether it's at a craft show or word of mouth or whatever it is, whatever, you know, your whether it is birdhouses, flags, welcome signs, yeah. holiday decor, personal things, uh, you know, for the birth of a child, just people's names, just anything, you know, now you start making a few bucks. Right. Now you start making some money. Right. And, you know, and hopefully that grows. You know, there's no people are doing it constantly on YouTube with with uh, with these machines. You know, make it make it make it money. Yep, make it money. Yep, yep. Yeah, and it's yeah. supplemental so, income. Yeah. So this is one of the things that many people get into this for, also for money, right? I mean, uh, you partially get into it for money too. No, coming up for no, no. Just, just for something to fulfill you. Yeah. Well, I I, I yeah. also kind of feel that uh, this machine takes the place of. A few tools. It does. It does. And on the, on that note, I just so, want to, I thought about this before. Like woodworkers, some some craftsmen, woodworkers yeah. who build stuff by hand. Yeah. A lot of them get to the point where they they get involved in CNC. It doesn't have to replace your craft. It augments your craft. Yeah. Right. But this is technology. It's it's yeah. but it's a different skill set. Yeah, it is. And and it's definitely a skill set. Yeah. And it, this is a tool in your shop. Just yeah, like you said, exactly. This, just like you said about woodworkers, it's another tool. It's another tool to have in your shop, you know, in your arsenal, so to speak. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. And this, yeah. Thing, this thing, yeah, yeah, totally. That's a really good way of putting it. On the it money is. front, so a lot of people get into it for money. Yeah. Right. They they, they think, think they can sell some stuff, and you absolutely can. Mm -hmm. And you started talking about the like baby stuff and you know, yeah. baby names and things. Yeah. You know, when you find a niche that where people buy mm -hmm. you can take off i was yeah. just watching a video this morning of a, a guy named hamilton you, you've seen him mm -hmm. and, and he sells the shit out of out of uh whiskey smokers oh that's right yeah, yeah. he sure does yeah yeah and, and, and that so yeah. he zeroed in he found a market mm -hmm. he found a niche and he sells a ton of those things yeah right and, and he'll, so he'll cut out you know 
60 of them at a time on his machine. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah, and, and then, then does all the other final prep work. And yeah. then, like production work, I guess, really. It, it is. It is. You know. I mean, that's that's the upside of a CNC when you finally find a niche and you find something to make over mm -hmm. and over again. Like we were talking about the offset thing the other, yesterday oh, yeah. for your flags. For the flags. Yeah. Yeah. Then you get a system going and then you learn how to make you make it work, you sell into that niche. Yeah. But you got to, you know, it, it, there's two schools of people who get into this. Mm -hmm. The one school are those who are going, I need something to make some money off of. The other school is people are going, I need something to do when I retire. Right. Um, hmm. So, but anybody can make money off of this if they follow the right guidance. Yeah. Right. And yeah. do the right things. I guess I would fall. I would, I would fall into that to those also. Yeah. You yeah. know, but. But you know I, your niche. The, yeah. The blue stripe flies. Yeah. Right. But I, it, but at the very beginning, that's not why I got into it. Right. I, 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 found that out after the fact uh -huh. you know about oh yeah you could start selling these and it's making this and selling that and you know uh but it's i guess that's what i kind of like about it is i didn't start off with with that mindset right i just okay. I, I wanted the machine you, you and i wanted need, to you make needed, stuff you needed something to do yeah i just yeah. wanted to make stuff and, and then you got back to the fulfillment part yeah yeah when i saw the th it's really what i saw that can be made on these machines. And I said, I would love to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it. Now you're doing it. Now so I'm doing it. You had zero, zero knowledge of these things. Correct. So, here, 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 Correct. so here's the two, two or three things we've kind of nailed on. Number one is uh, you know, the investment, forking out a couple grand for the machine and the yeah. software. Yeah. Uh, number two is the intimidation factor. Very much. Uh, right. Um, so yeah. on the first front, I've seen enough of this to say this, is there's some people who go, oh, I want to buy cheap because they're, they, <laughs> right? Uh, because they're, they're afraid of putting out a couple grand for a machine. Well, yeah, I, I, I was the same exact way, but I listened to you and I'm glad I did because you were right, you know, you were right there with me, man, when I bought every step of the way for this machine, every step. You were there with me because this was at the very beginning of everything with you. And, um, and you know, you said, get the bigger machine, get the 48. At the time, that's right when CNC Labs came out with the 48. CNC Labs is the name is, of the company that makes the long mill CNC. They had just came out with the 48 and uh, the MK2 and everything. You were like, you know, get, get, get the bigger machine. And man, you were 100% right. Because I'm telling you, that's a big, it's a nice size machine, mm -hmm. and you can you can you can make a lot of a lot of stuff with that thing. Right, right. You know, so I'm very glad I did that. So th this is a 48, and what what right. it's 40 48 inch area of cut mm -hmm. side to side, and it's like 32 deep. Um, and they're coming out with that 48 by 48, by the way. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And the other good thing about it is it's it's a robust machine. It's priced really nice compared it, to the other machines in this category. Very much so. And I did my research. I did my research. But I have to, again, go back. I, I have to go back to you. You were there for me from the very, very beginning. And I also say that I was there with you from the very beginning when you were you know yeah so so he was watching the youtube channel grow yeah by the way if yeah. you're new on this channel i teach all about cnc routers for beginners i teach mm -hmm. the design software i teach the router bits something else you need to invest in i yeah. teach about the machine i teach how to work the process uh so if you're thinking about getting to this and uh, into this then subscribe to this channel and watch a few of my videos mm -hmm. but so you were watching my videos more than others how come like other creators extremely educational they, your your videos are very i found them to be extremely educational you were not trying to sell me on anything you believed in the machine mm -hmm. and i and there's some things you know from from back then that really stuck with me uh when you were doing your videos and stuff and um and specifically then for the long mill here, I guess you could say you endorsed it mm -hmm. and you believed in the machine mm -hmm. and I believed in everything that you said. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that's you know, that's where I went with it. Yeah. Were you watching the channel before I started IDC Woodcraft? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So IDC Woodcraft is the yeah. is, uh, so the my company is a company that uh, provides the CNC router bits to you. So let, let, let's talk about some of the investment that that someone has to make, <laughs> right? Because right up front, we're not always aware that we got to fork out some of the money that we have to fork you out. You do, you do, but for the most part, it's it's almost like one and done type it's, of yeah. thing. You get your machine, okay? When you get your machine, it comes with the router. You got the router with it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you have the option whether you want to get the router or not, unless you already have a router that'll fit. You're this. talking, you means the no. actual cutting part of it. Yeah, the, the cutting the part. Spindle yeah, the spindle. Yeah, the software and your cutting bits. And really... That's the core of it. That's the core. The machine, the software, the bits. Yeah. Um, you also got to have a table to put it on. Yeah, yeah, and something to collect the sawdust. Yep. Like a shop yep. vacuum. Yeah, a little shop vac, yeah. I used a regular household vacuum first time around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. So in in the nature and the context of this video where we're talking to somebody who's, th do I do this? Do I really want to dive into this? And they're feeling that they're worried about spending that kind of money, right? Because in the end, you buy this machine, you're probably going to put out $2,500, all all, maybe a little bit more, right? Uh, maybe more like 3000 Close to it. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Close to it. Right, and then you get the time investment to learn the software. Um, but it's a big intimidation factor. You know, the, the whole thing that people go through, and we all go through it, yeah. is what am I going to get out of three thousand dollars? Right? Am I going to be able to get there? Because they don't have the clarity that that they can do it, or the, the faith that they can do it, the confidence. Of well, well, it, first of all, it's not a six thousand dollar machine or an eight thousand dollar machine. Yeah. Okay. I think I think uh, we're, from we're the talking research, about, he's talking about the long yeah the long right? mill. we're kind of talking about CNC in general but right but we keep kind of going back to long mill I, I got a, a video on this machine a review video kind of a deep dive video I'll link that below in the description well screen. then well then if you but, you, but you know anyway, well if you want to go that way with it though it, I, I guess it wouldn't matter what machine you got you know uh, as far as it's, it's, just this, getting, this getting into to, the, this is getting about, into it yeah this is about the subject we're on right now is the fear of putting out that kind of money. Well, I, well, I got to go back though. It, it is fearful. I mean, look, I'm no different than anybody else out there. Last time I checked, I don't got a tree with a hundred dollar bills <laughs> hanging in my backyard. Yeah, I don't have that. Okay, and you know, I had to, I had to make adjustments. I had to do what I had to do in order to get this machine. And uh, again, I don't regret it at all. I got to say, I haven't. It was scary. Yeah, it's very scary. But I haven't really put any more money into it because I haven't had to. Right. I mean, the only thing then after that, what you're spending money on is material. You know, and that, that, that's really it. Mm -hmm. And that's nothing. And you have the occasional bit break. Of course. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course you do. But let's also not forget what we touched on before because then if you're fortunate enough to start making money, with this machine, or whatever machine, what if you get into CNCing and you start, you find your your niche and and you start making money, you're going to make this money back and then some, and then you're going to start, like I said, just you're going to start making money. Yeah, let the machine pay for itself. Damn right. And learn and have fun at the same time. Oh, please, easily, yeah, yeah. That's what I. That's what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Just what you said, though. Yeah, I might not be making any money off machine off my machine right now. I'm cool with that. I know I can, and I'm gonna. Well, Joe's gotten really involved in the CNC community too. He, he, you find him all over the Facebook groups. There's lots of Facebook groups. Uh, mine is the CNC mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs. Yeah. So you, if you're on Facebook, go join the CNC Entrepreneurs Facebook group. I highly recommend doing that. Yeah, you you gotta. There's I was 30, I was thirty eight thousand people in that group. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have help. You, a lot of help. And I was also not on Facebook. I was not on Facebook for this. He 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 he's talking about something I just did, probably within the last year, if that. That's how long it took me to get on to, Facebook. Yeah, to get on the Facebook. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get involved with that Facebook shit. And I'm like, well, I did it anyways. So I'm in a couple groups, and that is extremely helpful. Yeah, that is extremely helpful because you can reach out. There's a lot of good guys. There's a lot of good folks uh, that are in these groups. A lot of good people. And they want to help. They started out where I did, where uh, 
where, where, where you're starting out. Some folks are just out there ready. They're ready to help. They're ready to help. And I'm out there and I give help where I can. At the drop of a hat, I'll help somebody because you know what? People were there for me to help me out when I started. And that's the least I could do. There are, like any other community, there are a few buttheads, but uh, just uh, IDC Woodcraft has like a zero tolerance policy. So when, zero we see, tolerance. when we see that in the Facebook groups, um, they're out. They go. Block them. Block them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. You will come across a lot of assholes. They're, 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 they're there, but you know, 90, 99% of the people are, are, are good. Yeah. We're all creators. We have that right. creative spirit. So yeah. that's just what we're going to be. Yeah. Here's this person going, I'm still scared. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't know if I can do it. Afraid to put out the money. What's the other? What are some of the other fears that you went through that they might be related? Not to? knowing a damn thing about this hobby, this thing we call CNC. I don't know what I didn't know what that was, especially CNC woodworking these machines. I had no idea. And then on top of it all, you got the you have to learn software. Yeah. I mean, I was like. Oh, no. I keep going back. It spiraled. I, I laugh and say it spiraled out of control. <laughs> it did. It yeah. did. I mean, one thing, it just, it just yeah, leads you to learn another. It, you learn, you, you, oh, yeah. Okay, I got the machine. <laughs> it should cut by itself. Yeah. And they go, wait a minute. I got, yeah. wait, I got to design something. Yeah. Uh, and, then, uh, yeah. And, and then did you have the ideas of, I'm going to go right in these carvings. I'm going to be, you know, that machine is just going to do what it's going to do. And Well, no, because I watched, I did enough research. Okay. I watched enough videos to know that, oh, okay, well, it's not going to do anything, number one, unless I tell it to, nice. meaning in your design. And I know I had to, I had to learn that vectric. The V carve. I knew I had to learn it well, in order for me to get what I wanted I to do. What was it I told you in the beginning when it is baby steps? Exactly. Yeah, it's baby steps. You just got to learn these basics. And, and I remember you also said, I was straddling that fence. I was straddling that fence. On buying the machine? Scared. Yeah, I was yeah. scared. I was. I was scared. I got a family. How long were you sitting on the fence? Oh, months. I got to say <laughs> months with this. And this is already after we had met and everything else. And I still hadn't had the machine. And, uh, you know, I mean, come on. I'm no, like I said, I'm no different than anybody else. You got a family. You got other obligations, a full-time job, and all this other stuff. And you're like, how how am I going to learn this? When am I going to learn it hmm. and everything? But I'll tell you right now, you were just like, just do it, Joe. Just do it. That's right. It, it, just do it. We put ourselves through more anguish yeah. <laughs> sitting on the fence yeah. than we do yeah. just making a decision. Either yeah. do it, either buy the machine and get over the pain of worrying about it. Yeah. Or make the decision to not get into it. Yeah, because well, because once let you let it go. Yeah, because yeah. once you hit that, uh, submit your order. Uh, you know, when you're buying everything and you submit that order, it's like, oh boy, okay. Yeah. You know, but you get over it real quick. I got to tell you, I got over that really fast. How how did it feel after you hit that buy button? Once you finally said, okay, I'm doing it. Click. I was like, oh shit, man. I was, was like, it oh. like a sigh of relief? It was, but I was also very scared again okay. because now I pulled that, the trigger. You're committed. Yeah, I'm committed. Right. I'm committed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, you know. Uh, I always like to put it this way it's like standing on a high dive and, <laughs> and you're looking down the pool and there's no water down there and you jump. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you go, that water's got to fill up. Come on. Yeah. It's got to fill up. You're falling down. You don't have seeing any water. Yeah. Is there water in the pool when you get down there? There's plenty of water. There's plenty of water. Let me yeah. tell you. But you know, again, I followed. Uh, I followed. Like I said, it, it, there, there's a lot of guys out there on YouTube. There's so many guys that I that I owe uh, that I have to give credit to uh, that have helped me along. But uh, this 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 path, this journey. But I'm just going back to the very beginning. Okay, I can only talk yeah. about the very beginning. Because that's where you were at. Yeah. And um, that's where you're at. And that's where you're at too. So, uh, but like I said, you were just like, just do it, just do it. And then also, you also said, get this, download the software as soon as you buy it. As, as soon as you do it, download the software, start playing with it. Start playing with that software. And that's exactly what I did. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget that. If you can't run the software, you can't run the machine. You, you're not doing anything. So at least I had a, 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 a small, leg up yeah 
once the machine got here because I already had the software downloaded and I already did was doing you were giving me some pointers and advice and I was also on YouTube again and uh, you know just learning about the the functions and the, just the little things that they do mm -hmm. you know the, what the buttons do and what it controls and you know stuff like that so that was that was that helped me uh, I, I think a great deal yeah. is having the software first yeah but then again, once you get that, once you get your machine and you get it, you're in another little uh, world here. Yeah. Because now you got to make the machine do what you hopefully want it to do and what you told it to do. And, right. And well, but, that's yeah. that's part of it. As you're learning to do this, now you're starting to transfer these things over to the machine, mm -hmm. and as machine's starting to cut, and and the, at first you don't trust it you don't because you've never seen it do it before correct right so, so it's uh there's that fear all every step of the way is yeah. this gonna work is it gonna work and then you're blaming work? the machine yeah, yeah you're cussing out the machine it's oh cool. badly I'm just, <laughs> my poor machine that poor girl you know i was like oh what the f are you doing what the uh, this that and the other and yeah. throwing throwing shit and i'll never forget you know I, you know, you were always, you were always like, okay, just take it easy. Step away. Step away. That's the big deal. So the, the whole thing about that is it's stuff, things go wrong. Yeah. And the only reason they go wrong is because we haven't learned it yet. We haven't, there's little mm -hmm. things we haven't learned. And that's part of the learning process, unfortunately, that sometimes we'll make those mistakes. And, sure. the, and there's a lot of different mistakes. And that's why you, you start the baby steps and follow along. But also, with that being said, keep in mind, though, the further along you progress and everything, um, you're, you're still going to make mistakes. But they're not going to be as bad as they were when you first started out. Mm -hmm. And not only that, you're going to know, you're, you're going you're gonna to know, okay, this is what's wrong, which... Uh, it, it's either how you put your material down or something in the design or, you know, something, something, something actually very simple that you're going to be able to fix and you're going to know what caused it. Yeah. And then you're just going to, you're going to, you'll be fine. You're going to fix that and then go right back to cutting again. You're going to go right back to it again. But, you know, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, maybe, maybe it depends on how simple the project is, but I think you're always going to run into something. Until, you know, until, until you, until, that's why I put that. Until you get setup, it down pat, That's man. why I put that setup sheet together. Oh, yeah. Right? That setup sheet will help avoid some of those mistakes that we do. Yeah, um, big time, yeah. And every time when I don't use the setup sheet. Something goes wrong. Uh, yeah, I, or you I, forget, I you forgot close, to stop. Yeah, yeah, then I, then I, yeah, I'll usually, we usually catch ourselves, but sometimes we don't. That is true. You, you, yeah. you do catch yourself. Yeah. You do. And, and, and for people who are just starting out and are going to do this, it's going to happen. You can't, you cannot avoid it. I don't care what anyone says or how hard you try. You're not going to be able to avoid it. But there's, there's just simple little things that, that, that you can fix. And then you'll know, okay, I know not to do that again. Well, it's all, all part of the system. So, sure is. Yeah. The, the learning, the learning system. Yeah. But, it, but, that, but that's, that, that's fun though. Yeah, subscribe to this channel because <laughs> I got the base, you got that sign the, the house number sign the simple yeah the simple project yeah see that that's one thing i do want to touch on touch on uh what, what what you're talking about right there for anybody out there that you know wants to wants to get into this okay and you know you follow the advice that we're that we're trying to give to you here the one thing would be is learn is learn that software just 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 get familiar with it Watch all the videos that you can, okay? Ask questions, okay? Like, it's going to really help you before you even get the machine, okay? And what I was doing, going back to the address sign, it's I... A, it's just a little simple house number. Yeah, sign. just very a... Very simple project. Very, very. And uh, what I did was I set, I set myself up a nice little workstation, and I watched i watched the video his instructional video go step by step on what to do and what i did was i put it on the tv i put his video 
on, on, on a big, on my big screen TV and had my laptop right in front of me. And I followed every move he made every, I, I, I paid attention to what he was saying and you could back up. Yeah. And you back up. And I made that sign right there. I followed exactly what he did, exactly what he did. And I took it outside and cut it. I followed it exactly to the T and I was like, Oh wow. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> oh wow. I, and it, it and again it just goes from there so that, that was that was a moment then when you realized okay i can do this yeah yeah because there was like your like uh some of your other projects i'm trying to remember what else you have you have the address sign and some v-carve you, you got some v-carve uh names and mm. stuff i uh how i started out was i had a bunch of practice material yeah I, I, what I did was I cut. Yeah, that's that's one of the things. I'm going to stop you there. Yeah. There's two things that many creators that get into this, they dive right into working with good material. Oh. Yeah. And they're, they're, they yeah. dive, they want to dive right into the, comp, the the more complex projects. And you can't. No, no way, Jose. Uh uh. You can you can't do it. You're you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna cause you're gonna cause so much frustration for yourself. It, it, you, you just can't do that. You have to give yourself some time. Mm -hmm. You have to. And I had so many pieces of uh, MDF that I used, and they were uh, six and, inch by and, twelve inch pieces. Yeah, MDF is a type of wood. It's micro density mm -hmm. wood. It's all sawdust glued together. Yeah, basically. yeah, and it's good. It's good. It's it's not expensive, and it's very very good to practice on. Yeah. And I did everything. I did the the ad, the address sign uh, was on MDF. I did welcome signs. I did people's names. I experimented with V bits, with the end mills. Everything was just on these pieces of small pieces of wood. Yeah, so he's talking about V bits, end mills. These are router bits. The, router they, bits, the, yeah. the tools that IDC Woodcraft sells. You can buy the CNC router. You can design the software, but it's not going to carve anything until you get those router bits. Yeah, and so. One of the things I ran into that if, if you're going to jump, if you're on the fence, you already jumped, and now you're just trying to talk yourself out of the off the fence. Yeah, that's not going to do you no yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. when people are on the fence that long, they've already jumped. They just haven't mentally convinced themselves to physically take the. Well, that's true. I guess that's where but, I was. But you're too. already there, and now what you're trying to do is talk yourself out of it because yeah. you're too scared, yeah. right? And uh, but if you came off the fence going backwards. And say no, I'm not going to do it. I, that's when we go. I failed. Yeah, you know, there's this little thing inside of us that I John, I, I done it. I didn't get into something. You know what? Uh, yeah, you 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 do have a big point there because I I'm sitting here thinking, where would I be right now? Yeah. If I did not have that machine. Yeah. Because I have made, I have made some cool stuff. Some cool stuff, and I made a, uh, a like a. Like the welcome sign, mm -hmm. we'll just talk about. Okay, that's one thing I am uh, going to get involved in. But yeah, you see those. Yeah, you do see them on people's uh, front porches by their yeah. front doors. And I'm talking that those are those tall, the tall ones. Yeah. Okay. Well, I carved one of them, and I did from rail to rail, from here to here, the whole cutting surface uh, on my on my machine, did the it? whole board. I, I cut it all the way and I designed it so it would go, so it would carve all the way as far as she can carve and come all the way back again. And then I had, now I have that, I get compliments on it. Uh, and I have that sitting on my, uh, sitting at that on, on our porch uh, by my front door. Okay. And I didn't even do anything to it. It's not finished. <laughs> it's not stained. The only thing that's act that I actually did to it was all I did was I just spray painted I spray painted uh, the letters. Okay. It's all I did. I didn't do anything else to it. Right. Nothing else. But it's sitting out there, you yeah. know. So, you know. So on the on the note of router bits, right? The just going back to what I was mm -hmm. starting yeah. to say. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have router bits. Uh, IDC Woodcraft is a CNC bit company, and mm -hmm. when I was getting into this, I'm going. You know, the next step after the machine is what router bits do I get? And and mm -hmm. and there's no I, I was having so much trouble finding the answer of what do I need to get started with. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I said, screw this. I'm starting a company. I'm going to give people the sets, what they need to start with. I remember. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then a bunch of basic programs just to, mm -hmm. uh, with instructions. So at least they can learn with the tools that I, that I provide yeah. in that starter set. So when you're getting into this and you finally decide to get your machine and you have to buy your software, when you have to get your router bits, you might want to check out the ones that are at IGC as a set. It's a beginner set. And so, a starter set, yeah. yeah. And I actually tell you how to work with them. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. The, most of the companies, I sell you the bits and they don't tell you anything beyond that. Yeah, that, that, that's the good thing about uh, also with IDC Woodcraft. Okay, the the bits like he's talking about the bits have uh, you know without getting technical here for someone that's brand new, but like yeah. you said, the bits run at a certain speed. Yeah, you know the, the feeds, feed. feeds, and speeds, and all that other stuff, which you'll learn that later. Okay, but he already did it for you. Okay, and in in Vectric, he also Vectric is the design is software. the design software. And also, IDC Woodcraft has a uh, the the tool database. The database. I the know. database where all these bits are in there. All that information is put into mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and so when you design, after you design everything, and you're going to tell uh, uh, Vectric VCarve, you're going to tell it what bits you want to use. Okay. Well, it already knows how that bit's going to run because it's already in the data, the tool database. And then, you know, the machine is gonna, it's good there, it's gonna run at that speed and it's gonna, you know, go into the material and everything else because it's already done for you. Yeah. You know, and that's that's very helpful. That's another thing because I remember- <laughs> We came out with the router bit app too. Yeah, yeah. App for your phone. Most yeah. people are going, yeah. that's a stupid idea. But now everybody's downloading it. No, everybody's I'm, using it. I find that I'm on it quite often, yeah. a lot more than I thought it would yeah. be because and what I mean by that is because I'm on it when I don't need nothing. Right. I'm just on. I'm on there looking to see what else came out or what's new or yeah. or some along those lines. So if I don't need anything, I'm still on. The, I'm still on the app, just checking it out to <laughs> yeah. see I what's new. What, really? Yeah. If you if you want to get the app, it's on Apple or Android. It's yep. Free. Just search mm -hmm. uh, IDC Woodcraft app. Yeah. And that's it. But okay. So so at the end of the day, we got someone here. The, the, maybe making a decision, realizing that you have gone through everything that they're going through, okay. uh, you know, walking up to the fence, realizing there's something over there, mm -hmm. all right, CNC routers, and then you're climbing up on the fence, and you're looking over like this, and going, I kind of want that, mm -hmm. and uh, and you're you're afraid mm -hmm. to pull the trigger because you don't know. That's right. It's it's really, what it, when it comes down to it, it's never about the money. It's about the fear. It's about the lack of clarity. It may be about the money, but that's just what we use to justify. At the, at the end of the day, we don't want the idea of money. We want the feeling. We want, we want the feeling of accomplishment. Oh. And, and so that's what this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, We've yeah. been through life. We've done our stuff. Engineer, cop, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever. Lawyer, doctor, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you're like, I'm done. I need something new. Mm -hmm. I need, and, and we need a new challenge in life. Yeah. It, it's, it's this will give be, it to you. It, it, it's got, if CNC routers were easy and everybody could do it, oh, yeah. it would be boring. Oh, yeah. And nobody would do it. No. But I, I was there. I was, I, I was there. Like I said, the money, like I said, yeah, we're, we're no different than anybody that's watching this. But, yeah, the money's there. But it's, I'd have to say the money did take a back seat to the fear. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. But you get over it pretty quick. Because like I said, once, once I got this machine, once I got the machine, started carving, started uh, designing, that excitement, man, you know, I'm telling you, the, the, it's very, very exciting. You know, you pull it off the machine, you show, you know, you show... Your family member. Oh, a prime example. Okay, so when I first got my machine, okay, I only had the machine a few months. I was still learning, didn't know anything, absolutely destroying stuff. And my daughter, at the time, my daughter had uh, graduated uh, from nursing school. And I made her a congratulations sign on 
the material on that practice material, six by 12 sign, mm -hmm. BSN, uh, I forgot what it said, congratulations, or I, I love you, yeah. uh, you know, and stuff very like that. Very personalized. This is the beauty of CNC. Yeah. And, very it, personalized. Yeah. And so I took several pieces of that wood and I painted it. I painted them black and I painted them red. So what I did was I put, I, I put each one on the machine. Now I did not know what I was doing. I was, I was, <laughs> I was getting there. I was getting there, but nowhere, nowhere in hell was I ready to tackle anything big at all. I was still doing practice science because you really got to learn this stuff before you do anything. But what I did was for this basic sign, I kind of pretty much, kind of much, you know, had it already. And that's what I made. I made her a beautiful sign and everything. And, uh, you know, uh, when we had her graduation party, I gave it to her and everything. And it was something, you know, she had graduated and it was just a sign I made. Something so small and she loves it mm -hmm. and everything. And I'll never forget that I remember uh, at her party, we took pictures of the, with her holding the sign and sent them to you. That's right. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I said, I remember, I remember that. Yeah, I texted you the signs. And so that's going back, yeah. you know, a year or two now. But, uh, and, and I made that sign for her. And I was like, oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. And it was a piece of, it was just out of. How did it feel making something sample for, wood? for your daughter? And then give it to her. It's something oh. that just you came up with. You oh, yeah. This was beautiful. I, I, I didn't copy it off of any anything. I just had to basically had to figure out what to say on it, you know, and pick the font. Mm -hmm. I think I think picking the font was the biggest pain in the ass <laughs> that I that I ran into. And that's the truth. That uh, making it look nice and making it look cool at the same time. But yet, you know, it, it's got to look good, you know. I, I, it wasn't something so damn fancy or anything, but picking a font was was a chore, uh -huh. you know, just so it would look good. Right. You know, you're going through all these fonts and writing them down and trying to see how it's going to look. And But I designed it right there. I was on the computer. I, des I was putting it in there, typing it in to see how what it would look like. And then I finally narrowed it down to what it was, saved the file. I knew, you know, what to do. And then I carved it. And I was like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. And then, like I said, at her party, I presented it to her. I gave it to her. And uh, we um, had it on display because we, we had a nice uh, table set up with her flowers, uh, her diploma, uh, you know, and just stuff like that. And I, we took the sign and we, we, we put it on display right there, you know, uh, so everybody could see it. And, and a lot of people... Did you make this, Joe? Did you make this, Joe? Constantly. I'm like, yeah, I did. Yeah, I sure did. That's cool. And it was it was great to, to wow. give her that. And I'm not even I'm not even done because I do want to carve another thing for her for but her career path. Why make something for your daughter? Why not just make anything? Because I'm my daughter. That's my daughter. Why not? Because I can. Because I have this machine, and I can do it. And, and, and it at came the out, end of the day, it, it would have came out a lot better yeah. doing it that way than by hand. At the end of the day, if you don't dug into that why you did this for your daughter what's the feeling that you are creating it's, it's i mean she's gonna have that forever there you go yeah she's gonna have that step yeah. she's Dad, gonna have daddy that. made it yeah that's daddy right made it. yeah yeah and, and so um, you have given her something that when you're gone yeah she's, she's still got something yeah she's gonna have this little so it's a little legacy that you've left yeah it is it is and uh you know like i said it it doesn't really matter I just carved it on a practice piece because that's what I had. And I really wanted to, you know, we were planning her party. She worked so hard. And I really wanted to make her something really special. And I always knew that, you know, when it, when it came out as nice as it did, I said, you know, she, yeah, she'll have that forever. And, when, and, I, and I, I always said, when I get better at this and learn, it, and learn more, you know, I can make her other make her other uh, things for her, uh, you know, you know, for, for her being in this, this yeah. great career that she's in now. All right. When she gets married, now you'll be able to make a sign for her and her, her family. Yeah. All right. A new family. Yeah. Um, like I said, my, you know, uh, again, it, it's just, you could just do so much with this stuff. Someone gets a new house, someone gets a new house. You're going to make a well, a nice size welcome sign for them. So they could put it, they could 
you know, put it on, put it, display it on on their on their uh, the front of their house now and kitchen. You could even you could even carve kitchen utensils. Yeah, yeah, well, you can carve anything. That's, that's yeah, a, that, that's but, all it is. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. So we've been talking for a while. They're, whoever's watching is probably basically probably, if you're on the fence. So yeah, it, it comes down to that. You have if, to you if, have to jump. You got to do it. You have to do it. So what you're saying is, if they've been looking at it for a while. Should that person buy a CNC router? Yes, you should, because, like, like Garrett said, the longer you're on the you're on that straddling that fence and you're looking down, it's not going to change. What's going to change? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be it's gonna be Monday afternoon. You're looking over that fence and looking you know thinking should I do this? And then it's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You're still looking over that fence. Well, Friday you need to pull that trigger. You need to jump. Because there's plenty of water down there. There's plenty of water down there. And the amount of creativity that you can do with these machines is a lot. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just endless. It They're is. a lot of fun. It is. It, 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 that, that's really all it is. And again, uh, you always talk about your, your, your niche. You, all, you know, he always talks about that and stuff. And once you find uh, what it is that you want to get into carving with this machine... I'm telling you, you're going to be more than satisfied what you did. Yeah, yeah. Once you fall in love with it and, and do what you do, uh, if you're looking for work and money out of it, it'll come to you. Oh, Especially it's got to. If you fall in love with it, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I mean, I, I, I'll admit it, you know, I kind of laugh about it, and I, and, I, and I know me and you have talked about it, you know, yeah, I, uh, I may not have made, at this point right now, I may not have made a dime with my machine, but I do have a couple people who are interested in that welcome mm-hmm. sign that I already did. So I got money already. Lined there's up. gonna, yeah. There's always gonna. There's, you there's already, gonna be you something. already see it coming. Yeah, it's, it's already gonna be coming because somebody saw my welcome sign and yeah. have already been asking about it. And I got a couple people that already want it, but I just haven't done it yet because my machine was tore down and I was just doing some stuff. Okay. But I'm one of these guys, and everybody should be this way. But I want to perfect it. I want to come up with something unique. I want to come up with something that looks cool, uh, that I could that I could give that that I could present to a, 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 a relative or a future client, mm. customer, whatever. Uh, you know, that's just how I am. You know, it seems like sometimes I'm not satisfied with something until I really tweak it and make it unique, make it my own. Yeah. Or you just make a basic sign and just give it to somebody. Right. They, they, you know, you you're, they, you could do that too. Yep, that's that's you know. fun too. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's uh, wrap up. First of all, uh, whether this is video or podcast, there will be links in the description of all the stuff that we've mentioned. Uh, if you're interested in taking a look at them, such as the long mill CNC router or the IDC Woodcraft router bit starter set. Um, yeah. So yeah. Well, thanks for taking. A bit to share your experience. For- well, you're very welcome. But the thing is, is that I, if I could help, like I, like I said at the beginning of this, it, if I could help somebody in any way, shape, or form when it comes to this CNC world, I want to do it. I, I want to. I want to help people because I am no different than than you out there or anybody else for that matter. I. Never knew what this was. I never knew had anything to do with this. I don't have all this uh, computer technical knowledge in any way. I don't. I don't know nothing. I didn't know anything about the software, but I do now. I do now. Because and you jumped. Because I jumped. That's right. And 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 you didn't give up. It's only it's only going to hurt for that split second. To be <laughs> honest with you, you know it really is. It, 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 it's there goes the hurt. money. But, yeah, but, yeah. But here yeah. comes so far two years worth of learning yeah. the worth of of starting to make stuff that's mm-hmm. meaningful yeah and how many more years to come just with that machine right a, a long yeah. a long time yeah. because you know uh you know oh but what i was going to say before and we'll wrap this up like like i said i i haven't made any any money or anything but yet here i am uh trying to um better uh make my system better and when i say system i mean my uh i guess my uh my 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 shop area 
or, you know, the sit my CNC system better. Mm-hmm. You know, I got a much quieter, uh, uh, shop, vac. shop vac, a very quiet I'll link shop that vac. too. That shop yeah. vac is, is badass. Yes. Uh, and I always say, yeah, I, I'm not making any money right now. All right. It is what it is. And I kind of say to myself, well, you know, you really, you know, you really had no business upgrading your spindle. But that was one of the best things that I did. One of the best things I could have done was get rid of that router. That trim router. That trim router and put an actual spindle on here because it is so much quieter. I'm telling you, yeah. my that's that's for another day though. yeah but yeah, but, yeah, but the whole thing yeah. about that yeah, is, is, yeah. is you're learning all kinds of new stuff along yeah. the way that you never would have thought you would have gotten into yeah and and I, again if i didn't jump over that fence, that yeah. fence you'd still be twiddling your thumbs yeah feeling, feeling an emptiness big time yeah big time yeah I, I i yeah you're right you're right because i think i guess i was kind of looking for something I guess I was just kind of looking for something more. And like 100%, I said, this, this thing just I will of, tell you this. From my experience of all the emails I've gotten, all the dialogue I've had in YouTube comments, in person, every single person turns to this when they're feeling a sense of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to have the emptiness anymore. You just don't. All right, brother. All right. Thanks for sharing, man. You're very welcome. And, and, Jump over that fence. Pull the trigger. Do what you got to do. Don't. You, you got to stop. Stop. Stop second guessing yourself. Just do it. It's gonna hurt that for that split second. It's gonna sting a little bit, but it goes away. Yeah. It will go away. And you could do this. I'm telling you. I'm a nobody uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff. But now I'm a somebody <laughs> in this, in this CNC passion, world. So you know, yeah. All right, we're gonna check out. All right. Thanks for taking the time. Take the jump. It'll feel a lot better in the heart. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Have a great day. Better tomorrow. And happy CNC. Well, there you have it. We talked to Joe. You know his journey. I'm sure that you have experienced some of the feelings and anxieties that he went through. But he ultimately jumped in. He's super grateful he did. And he has even told you just do it because this is a tool that you will be able to work with for years to come. I've got links down in the description of this video. Check out the long mill video, that review video. You can take a look at this machine. You can look at the other machines, of course. I've got a couple other videos I'm going to link down below, like the buyer's guide, what you need to look for in the CNC routers and what you want to stay away from because there are good machines and there are bad machines. Subscribe to this channel because I have a ton of videos that help you, as someone who's brand new to this, understand this whole world of CNC routing. With that, I hope you have a great day. Better tomorrow. Go out and get your CNC router and join this huge community of people like me and Joe and soon to be you to start creating some amazing things that just feels good in here. IDCWoodcraft.com